Following Malawi and Zambia, Pastor Oksu Park and his party arrived in Zimbabwe, the third country they visited during their mission trip to six countries in South Africa. On Friday, the 25th, Pastor Oksu Park and his party arrived in Zimbabwe at 5 p.m. after finishing their schedule in Zambia on the morning of the 25th. The Minister of Education, Evelyn N. Lovu, and the Mayor of Harare, Stuart Musarurua Mutizwa, welcomed them in the airport VIP room. Education Minister Evelyn N. Lovu, who already knew about IYF and mine education through the Vice Minister of Education, visited Korea in 2019 and returned after receiving salvation. She welcomed Pastor Oksu Park, saying that this mine education can change Zimbabwe. Pastor Park briefly introduced his activities in Malawi and Zambia and answered that he expects wide-ranging activities with the Zimbabwe government. The ZBC, Zimbabwe's largest state-run broadcasting station, covered Pastor Oksu Park leaving the airport with the Minister of Education and the world. At 7 p.m. the same day, the ZBC reported the news about the response to the discussion and the future direction of cooperation with the Zimbabwe Ministry of Education schedule in Zimbabwe. While being escorted from the airport, Pastor Park and his party attended the IWF Sponsors Night event at the HICC Hotel Jakaranda Hall. The event was attended by 15 media outlets including ZBC, The Herald, and Daily Mail along with 150 people including the Minister of Education and Mayor of Harare who accompanied them from the airport as well as the Vice Minister of Education and the Supreme Director and the Minister of Foreign Affairs. In a congratulatory speech, Minister of Education Evelyn N. Lovu urged the youth to train youths with a Christian spirit and do their best to develop deep thinking and self-control through mind education. The Gracious Choir provides a gift-like stage to those they need and company sins from Israel. At this event, the local language song received a lot of love and cheers. After that, Pastor Oksu Park, who went on the podium, began his lecture with the story of missionary Johan Che, who overcame the poison of scorpions with the power of looking upon God. And he preached the gospel that Jesus, who took over all our sins as the Lamb of God, forgave all our sins and made us holy. Yes, but Jesus, through being crucified on the cross, He didn't sprinkle His blood at the altar on earth, but He sprinkled it at the altar in heaven. And in heaven, everything is eternal. Everything in heaven is eternal. Meaning our sins are forgiven eternally. Amen. The sermon tonight was really touching uh, on the lives of our Zimbabwean people. And we should be, be celebrate. We should celebrate that Jesus passed, died for us. Uh, in most cases, people used to read the Bible one-sided. The Old Testament, which says you should slaughter a goat and then smear the blood on your head. And, but Jesus came and was baptized by John. And through that baptism, he came and fell on the cross for us. So I think the sermon really touched the hearts of many and they, they were listening. I watched them, they were listening, and uh, we are very grateful for the sermon. And I hope that tomorrow uh, quite a number of people will go to the celebration center to listen to the, the sermon which he has prepared for them tomorrow. Wow, uh, today was an absolute blessing. Um, I heard the word of God concerning the redemption of our sins in another dimension. And it was so liberating, it was so refreshing and replenishing to get a deeper truth on what the work of the cross is. As uh, Reverend Dr. Uh, Oksu Yan uh, Park rather, was, was, was teaching, you know, the, when he started off, I was wondering, where is he going with his message? Where is he? He took from um, the book of Leviticus and he was speaking about the old uh, testament way of uh, forgiveness and uh, remuneration redemption of sin and then when he then explained about God having made mates um, and now he was giving mates of the scripture and then he started telling us about the new 
Testament, taken from, uh, from Romans 3, verse 23 up to 24. Ah, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. So now I understand the finished work of Christ in another dimension. I am not a sinner. I am righteous. <laughs> Following Malawi and Zambia, the government and education officials pay great attention to mine education in Zimbabwe. Pastor Oxu Park will continue his schedule in Zimbabwe until the 27th. This is Good News TV, Jen Constantino.